As we head into the final round of championship fixtures, it is time to begin reflecting on another hectic campaign for our English football's second tier. With only one match left to contest, much is still to settle ahead of the final weekend. Sports Mail's Amitai Winehouse has compiled the highlights from the most recent weekend of championship action. A perfect goodbye Wes Luham said farewell to Carroll Road on Saturday afternoon, a stadium that has been his home for 10 years. He is leaving Narch at the end of the campaign after playing 320 league games and winning three promotions with the club. Leeds looked like they might spoil his party after going a goal ahead. Step forward Wes. A goal courtesy of a wicked deflection, and an assist later and he'd push the Canaries to a 2-1 victory. If I had to have paint a picture of how Wes's career for Norwich would finish that would have been it, manager Daniel Farka said. Signing of the season? Ole McBurney was an under-the-radar capture for Barnsley in the January window, joining on loan from Swansea. The manager who brought him in, Paul Hackingbottom, soon left for Leeds. Not that it has stopped McBurney. The striker has nine goals since January including the second in the Tykes 2-0 win over Brentford that lifted them out of the relegation zone ahead of the last week of the season. If they stay up, they will owe a lot to the 21-year-old. It explains why he was named Player of the Year at Barnsley's awards on Saturday. Wolves are worthy winners it is not just on the pitch that Wolves have impressed this season. The champions' handling of Carl Keem's illness has been sublime. Throughout the campaign they have made it clear that they have been doing it for the goalkeeper who was diagnosed with acute leukemia before the season started. Pre-match against Sheffield Wednesday, they played a video from Ikeem on the big screen in which he urged his teammates to have a few drinks on me. And then after they lifted the trophy, the squad wore Ikeem won goalkeeper shirts to celebrate with their fans. Where's the fight? Birmingham released a series of bizarre images on Friday of Captain Michael Morrison sat in the corner of a boxing ring with manager Gary Monk and some fans screaming him on. Reading how now had four defeats and four sendings off in the seven matches since Paul Clement was appointed as manager. It is a run that has seen them drop into the relegation mix ahead of the final weekend. Not that the message filtered through, they were meek and losing to QPR, going a goal up and then conceding within 60 seconds. Eventually they lost 3-1. Birmingham are two points clear of the relegation zone but with both Barnsley and Burton winning this weekend and a tough test against Fulham to come, it would not be ridiculous to see one of the preseason promotion favourites be dealt a shock knockout blow next weekend. Preston, pushing for promotion Preston's 1-0 win against Sheffield United courtesy of Alan Brown firing home a rebound set up in Exciting pair of fixtures for next weekend. So much will be decided in the championship in Derby County against Barnsley and Preston vs Burton. Derby and Preston need wins to keep their playoff hopes alive. Barnsley and Burton want three points to stay in the division. Spare a thought for Sheffield United, who would have expected to be involved in the top six mix when they were top of the league back in November. The highest position they can now mathematically finish is eighth.